lemon passes me. can't imagine what, well, I guess they grow cotton in them fields because that soil is just, looks like the red clay out of Georgia. But we're in uh, central west Texas. And I guess that's what they would grow. I like the miles out here, but it does get boring. But uh, I did spend a lot of time up by, uh, shoot, going up to Rhode Island, uh, Pennsylvania, Ohio, uh, up past Chicago, Milwaukee, Pennsylvania, Virginia. After a while, the mountains and everything gets, gets to you. And the cold and the rain. Now we got flat, hot sun. Dry. field drains down that way anyhow.
right, here's a video on my strapping. And what you do with the extra. On it. All right. Alright, alright, fold it up. Grab it, let's make it a little tighter. That looks good. Alright, here's what you do with your slap. You go through. You go over your roll. Bam. It ain't going nowhere. Simple. What you do now, take up some of this, cram it under there. Pull it through a little. Just, just something like that. That one turned out like that, no big deal. These turn out like that. They're in this solid. I picked up this trailer. The guy had it like spaghetti. Didn't know what he's doing. All right, let me finish up, then I can get out of here. All right, guys. Yeah, we got four points, but not separate. I'm running it like this. Yeah, I'm running a 45 foot. Some states don't like that with your bed on the pickup. These are uh, cow shoots. So you grab the cow, and they can tip them up sideways, and I don't know, work on the hooves or whatever else they gotta do. I think I'm gonna put one more strap right over here. Because that's what you do when you feel, hey, why not? It takes another 10 minutes. All right, these are going to upstate New York somewhere. We'll see if we can get something else on the back. My broker's pretty cool about that, he's good. Hey, what's up? I'm in the bushes here trying to get the whole truck and trailer in the darn 45 foot trailer. Yeah. Cow shoots. Going up upstate New York. Crazy things. Apparently they tilt back, put the cow in, then it tilts back up. Pretty cool. Anyways, yep, here we go. Inside the rail, protectors where needed. Yeah, I only used one chain, binder in the middle. Now I did a video about four separate points. A 12 foot of deck, easily four foot of ramp space left. I think I loaded uh, four, four and three, seven thousand pounds right there. Hopefully I'll get something on the back so I can counterweight. My airbag system hasn't gone off to tell me if it's uh, too heavy on, on my drive axles. But yeah, hey, look at that. One chain, one binder. This machine here, the hydraulics, got the feet that came down. The controls, which the shipper showed me how to use. Here, yeah, the trail doesn't have the built-in four inch. So. I had to put three just for peace of mind. And look at that. That's how you do your straps. You roll them up, pull it through. It can come loose and it just will never go nowhere. It'll just hang there. Just hang there. Even when it comes out. Yeah, I'm not gonna know. Well, just something that somebody showed me when I was in California, one of the shippers. So hey man, just do it like this, real simple, it'll never come out. Alright, let's hit the road.